Hey friends, welcome. I am so excited to share an in-depth look at Sunlight Science C. If you have been in the homeschool world for several years, you, I'm sure you've probably heard of Sunlight if you don't use them already. I had heard of them for several years and I'm so excited to be using their science curriculum for next year. It's a first time for us, but when I saw it, I got really excited and I was just wanted to add it into our school year for next year. If there's any questions or clarification, please feel free to leave a comment down below and so I can answer those the best that I can. Also, I have a, um, a discount of $10. So if you do want to click on that link and you happen to decide to buy Sunlight, not just the science, if you want to get their history or any, any other product, they have small unit studies, um, it's $10 off. I'm going to turn the camera around and we will get a very good look at what Sunlight Science C includes. We have the teacher guide. We have all of the books. I'll go through these more like I'll do a good flip through in just a second um, and then we have the experiment book and then it also comes with the discover and do science third grade experiment paper packet also comes with a science supplies kit which I'm very excited about not having to worry about getting all the random miscellaneous science uh, things for our science activities and experiments. We'll go through a week, what a week looks like, and then kind of do more in depth. And then this is going to be the kind of the, the spine of what the course is. They're going to be teaching the main principles out of these. The other books are kind of more supplementary. So let's go through and see what a week looks like. So again, here is the um, instructor guide. It just comes loose leaf like this. I just put this in a binder to make it a little bit easier, but it does come hole punched uh, and ready to go for you. So you don't have to worry about that, which I appreciated. So we chose the five day and I'll show you what that added in just a minute. You can choose five days or four days. So it's going to have a welcome evolution in the age of the earth. So it's going to just talk about their stance on that. Sunlight is a Christian corporation, uh, but they do choose to use old earth and uh, more secular resources for all of their science across the board. And they kind of give a reason why. So I'm, I shared that in another video, so I'm not gonna read all of that here. Um, and then the student activity sheets, a few other helpful hints, supplementary websites, correction suggestion and summary. It's going to have the book list for you and then all of the science supplies that you would need. It does come with a supplies kit and a lot of this is found in that supplies kit. You will need, um, you know, common household supplies like a paper cup, a bowl, a spoon, that type of thing. But all the random miscellaneous things will come in the, uh, the kit for you. I chose week 18 and I'm going to go through day by day so you can see exactly what the week will look like. Um, so we have, do you know science? This is the DK book, page 62 and 63. So it gives you places here for the date and then the week. So you kind of know where you're at. So here you would read this page 62 and 63. There's always a few questions at the end too. So it's very simple, light reading should not take more than a couple minutes. And then you would do activities, um, number one to three for the activity sheet questions. And it comes with those in the teacher's guide, as well as the answer. So it makes it all very convenient for you. It is categorized week by week. So um, if you wanted to separate these, you would have to go through and separate these. If you just like, if, for example, let's say you wanted to put this in your own, your child's own binder, you would have to go through and separate. I'm not going to do that. It's just easier to do it as the weeks come. It will just be easier for me to, to do it how it's already set up, but you can do it either way. So you would do question one, question two, question three. So day 86, um, that would be that day. It's going to give just some information for you to read to yourself or out loud, um, to your children. And then that's, it for that day. Then day two, you're going to read page 64 and 65 in this book. So this is what you would read day two. And then answer questions four to seven back here. 
So four, five, six, seven. They're pretty straightforward. There's not a hundred questions on each page. They're in color, so it makes it a little bit more interesting to the child. I personally think some people prefer black and white. I We like color here in our house. And then the last day um, of reading, that is, will be page 66 and 67. And then you're going to answer the last three questions here. Questions 8, 9, 10, and question 11. So that would be all the book work and the activity sheets. Those are done on three days. And then here you'll see do together. They have these not every day, like maybe once or twice a week. And they're just little, they're not experiment experiments, but they're just little simple activities. They're obviously optional that you can do. Um, so day 87 had some information that you could read, but this do together is a plastic hunt. So it just gives you, talks about where plastic is, you know, where it was made and come from, and then just a little, um, a little activity that you can do together. And then that would be it. And again, here's the answers. So that would be all of that as far as reading and activities. Um, some people say, hey, we're gonna do all of this on one day just because the reading is pretty light and simple. You know, if you don't wanna do science to, you know, every day, four days, five days a week, you could definitely easily make this into one or two days and then this one its own day and what I really like about this is they say okay the experiment day is its own day you definitely want to do that when you have a little bit more time or you know you don't have to do it on a Thursday it could be on a Monday or whatever day you feel like you have the most energy and most motivation to get things done so here we have the experiment book it all corresponds here is it fresh or is it salty? So it gives, it tells you what materials you're gonna need. It gives an introduction and has some vocabulary words and things like that. Kind of the reason why, and just a little bit of a background of what you're gonna be doing, why you're gonna be doing it. I like that it does, um, so you can make a prediction. And then here is the activity, uh, and they are laid out. There's always pictures, so you kind of know step-by-step step what you're doing. I don't love when, I don't know, me personally, when it's like it tells you 10 steps, but you can't kind of visualize it. So I like that you can visualize and see here what exactly it's supposed to be looking like. Drawing some conclusions, making connections in the takeaway. See the bigger picture. So some more information with more vocabulary words and then go further. This is kind of like more critical thinking and asking them kind of outside the box questions. And then here is the, the pages that correspond. So it is the observation, uh, fresh water, the results, Epsom salt results, table salt results, that type of thing. And then here is the back. So what these are, is these are gonna be the same thing here. So we have, um, as you can see, it's the same exact so if you didn't want to, and it comes with this automatically, and you can add more for each student if you want them to have their own. Just if you don't want to write in the book or have to fool around with copies. I know sometimes it's hard to make copies out of like, especially a thick book like this. Um, you definitely can tear these out and use them, but it just comes with this in case you want to keep the book intact. So this is going to just correspond with this book. And I'll go through and kind of give a can you see DNA? How are fingerprints different? Um, do sea walls help? So these, I mean, you're gonna be covering a variety of different subjects throughout the year. Um, let's see, what is this one? How does a mere cat live? So I, I like that it offers multiple, like I said, multiple subjects that you're going to be touching on. Um, and the children can see throughout the year. So it's not just like one topic that you're talking about all year. Do insects look the same at each life cycle? Let's look at the back here. Can you prevent a mudslide? How does acid rain affect things? So you kind of get an idea. Definitely a lot of different things. And, the, and it's more than just, here's how you do it. It's the introduction, make a prediction. So it's really definitely using a scientific method approach. Investigate, again, always has pictures. Definitely step-by-step. Step. 
draw conclusions, the takeaway, get the bigger picture, and then they always have sheets for the children to like write, write their hypothesis and experiments and conclusions. For the teacher guide, this is how it's gonna be set up every single week, same thing. Um, it's gonna have the days, what you're supposed to read, uh, the, thir the fourth day or Thursday or whatever you wanna do, you can obviously, I, I'm changing this up, I'm not doing this according to this, um, so you can do it however you want. And then the fifth day is gonna be the story of inventions. This is um, an optional, their standard is four days. If you want to do a fifth day, it's just the story of inventions, and I'll show you that. And all you're doing is reading a couple pages. So you're not doing any questions, any experiments. It's just reading. So again, you don't even have to. You could always tack this in to another day if you want to keep your options open for four days. Okay, so that is what that looks like. Now here is the supplies kit. So it just gives you an idea it's gonna come with um, stuff that you probably would have in your house too, but definitely things that you're probably not going to have. I know I saw in here iron filings and copper wire and, um, and north and south magnet bar. You might have a balloon, <laughs> but uh, you know, you can get the idea. So this one is um, Wonder Soil some battery string, clay thermometer, a glass tube thermometer. This is definitely something I don't have in my house. And just, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't love gathering all those random miscellaneous supplies. So I am totally looking forward. Here's a Petri dish, definitely don't have one of those. Um, masking tape marble, so you kind of get the idea of everything that comes here um, with this. Oh, look at that cute little light bulb. Uh, anyway, so I like that it's all in here and ready to go. And then I can just add my own, like I said, spoon, a bowl, a cup of water. That's all easy. So I like a good flip through because honestly, for all these, I had to like look them up on my own and look at the samples. And sometimes they don't have good samples online. So I'm going to do a good flip through of all of these so that you can get a really good picture of what they're going to look like inside. So again, this is the spine. This is DK. Did you know? Um, and you're always only going to be reading about two pages per day. So I'm just going to go through each book and you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like.
And then lastly, um, this comes with, if you get the five day option, again, it's just a few pages a day. We chose this one because my girls like, um, they like like the history of science, if that makes sense, and learning about like where things came from. So all about inventions, and then it just talks about different inventions all throughout history. That is going to be all of the books it comes with. It's going to come with a great, simple, thorough teacher's guide. It is so simple to navigate, so easy. It is all laid out there for you. I could not be easier and simpler, and I love that. I'm going into a busy season next of next school year, um, and so I love that the worksheets are there, the answers are there. It's just nice and straightforward for the experiments. Um, I think these ones look really interesting. We're gonna see how many of them we get to and how many we're able to accomplish. Um, but my girls, I feel like I'm more motivated to do it when I actually have the supplies. So that is gonna be helpful having the experiment packets. We've never really done anything like that. So I think that'll be fun. And then of course the supplies kit, can't go wrong with this. This will be a lifesaver, I think, for sure. So hopefully you like this video. If so, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. This just helps other people who are looking for science and sunlight. They'll be able to see this video. It helps reach a broader audience. And if you would like to subscribe, I'd love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.